Welcome back to that dad guy. It's August the 6th, 2022. It's another scorcher day we're having here. Uh, it's gonna feel up around 38, it's 31, about 38 with humidity. You can see some of the plants need more water. <laughs> so what I thought we were gonna do is my wife and I are gonna go for a little trip. And we're gonna go to Cornhill Nurseries and uh, we're gonna see about some plants. We're gonna ask about one of the plants that I have that isn't doing so well and uh, see what they can do for it or whether it's something that just needs to be replaced and uh, we'll see what's out there it's kind of a cool little nursery so hopefully you guys will enjoy having a little tour of it welcome to cornhill new brunswick home of cornhill nursery this place has been around for a very long time it's got plants for your garden that you want or maybe you want full-grown trees they've got that too um, they've got herbs they've got regular perennials they've got some annuals, not a lot of annuals, so it's mostly perennials, but a wealth of knowledge. If you need something or have a specific need for your garden or a question about what you have going on, uh, they probably can answer it. So taking Linda's advice from um, Georgia, I've come here to ask about my boxwoods. I've got a couple of them that have gone yellow and I wanted to see what they can do. So this is what you have for the nursery. All the plants there. There's the cafe in the background. Here are the more mature trees that you might get to have planted. And then up in the back, that's where you're, you're gonna see the greenhouses where they're growing more stuff. Let's have a look around. Cornhill Nursery, we're going through the little path. And you can see all the different plants that they have. They've got two different sections that you can go into. You can go into this lower area or you can go into the upper area. We've got them divided into trees and perennials and kind of mixed with their own beauty. The trellis over there. Let's see what we can find. Give you an idea of what's going on here. So we're in Cornhill, New Brunswick. And there is the cafe, so you can uh, go in there and get a bite to eat while you're here at the nursery. You can come out to the picnic tables. And you can go view what they have for a view. Out into the farmlands. In the beautiful New Brunswick countryside. And over top of the eating area down here beside the cafe, it's all covered in grapevines, much like the one we have in our backyard. But at the end of the season, they pick them and they stomp them and have a, uh, a special day for just harvesting all the grapes. Here you can see the cafe. Beautiful little entrance to get into it. Let's see what's actually going on in there if we can. We've got some postcards here, I think. No, there. Some stuff. Yes. And I've got upstairs. Look inside the cafe. Look at all the plants. You'd expect that in a nursery, though. Right here they have all upstairs, all the plants, all some of the antiques around, and they even have an outdoor. And you can see there's a table there looking down. And one off in the corner. So how cute is this cafe? And lots of great food here to eat. Great little pass all over the place to get you down to the cafe into the different greenhouse areas. Great 
here is we got the pizza oven. And a place where you can eat. I got my question answered. Unfortunately, my two plants have a diet of drought. So even though I was watering some of them, they were drying out at a much quicker rate than the plants that I had at the lower boxes. And so they're not coming back. So we ended up buying a couple lavender plants after my trip to the lavender farm not too long ago. Um, they were talking about them being good to keep critters away. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna put some lavender plants in and see how they make out. So I hope you enjoyed this quick trip to Cornhill Nurseries and bye for now. All right, bonus feature. We stopped in, um, where did we stop? Salisbury at the Green Pig. So this is a market, a bakery. They've got all sorts of different things in here. They've also got a really huge corn maze for the fall. So that's pretty cool. Check out this pink tractor. And you gotta cut out there, you put your head in. So Sunflower Festival is August 19th to 28th. We're not quite there, a couple weeks away, but that might be neat to come back and see. You can check out all the wind chimes and the things for your gardens along here. Birdhouses. And then inside the market. Inside the bakery at the Green Pig. We're any cookies and bakery goods and then all the vegetables you want. They've got a cafe in here too, so you can come and eat. And out there is the corn maze. So they have two things. You can do corn maze in like September, October, you come out here to the corn maze and they have one part of it where you can do during the day. And then they have a scare one you can do at night. And you have space here for ice cream, which is gonna be popular today. There under wraps is kind of a cannon thing that they use for uh, shooting pumpkins and things. So that's not in place right now, but it's coming. So from the Green Pig in Salisbury, hopefully stuck around for the bonus feature. Stay safe. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs>